water bodies are important in society. However, due to the fast-changing development and increasing population, our water bodies are neglected and abused. There are interventions made but either expensive or with harmful chemicals. Hence, in 1980s, a natural and probiotic technology called Effective Microorganism or EM was developed by Dr. Teruhiga in Japan. EM comes in liquid form. It is made up of non-pathogenic and non-harmful coexisting aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms. According to EM Research Organization, these microorganisms are naturally operate, which means they are not genetically modified or chemical synthesized. The main species present in EM includes lactic acid bacteria, photosynthetic bacteria, yeast, actinomycetes, and fermenting fungi. These microorganisms have the ability to suppress harmful and disease-inducing microorganisms. Moreover, effective microorganisms, based on several studies, are known to be useful in a wide variety of fields such as agriculture, composting, bioremediation, and even algal control. EM can also be used in detoxification of landfills, decontamination of the environment, and promotes highly sustainable, closed-cycle agricultural and organic waste treatment through EM mud balls. Studies prove that EM mud balls are effective in rehabilitating water bodies. It is used in improving water quality of different water bodies such as Amor Bay in Russia, Sapato River in Brazil, Nihonbashi River in Japan, and Sungai River in Malaysia. EM mud balls are cheap and as a matter of fact, anyone can make them. Here are the steps to make EM mud balls. You will need the following materials. 14 kg soil, 700 kg rice bran, 4 to 5 liters of EM1, deep pan or tray, water can, container, and newspaper. Step 1. Combine soil and rice bran in a deep pan or tray. Step 2. Moisten mixture with EM1 until EC2 form into balls. Step 3. Roll the mixture into the balls. Step 4. Line the container with newspaper before putting the mud balls. Step 5. Store the mud balls somewhere without direct sunlight and wind that may cause faster drying. Step 6. Wait until white fungus surface develops. Last but not the least, step 7. You may now throw your mud balls into the water body. One mud ball must be applied for every square meter. <music>